Okay, when Miss Leo, Miss Cancer, and Miss Taurus get together, it can be one huge misunderstanding. Look out, Leo. Your lunar luck is limited lately. Your lucky lumbar, uh, I mean number, is three. But beware the color blue, it's not for you. Get the message? Blue is bad? Oh! Top me up, will you, Dad? Caffeine fix before school, kiddo. Okay, it's apple juice. I just like the whole mug newspaper routine. That <laughs> would be my newspaper. Hey, I wasn't finished reading it yet. Whoa, pretty soon it'll be the briefcase cell phone routine, then the office carpool routine, then the boardroom meetings. Here, just take it. All but the horoscopes. Horoscopes? <laughs> Didn't you make a no more astrology pact with Sydney and Reza? I solemnly promise never to read another horoscope again. If I do, may I get the frizzies and a humongous zit on the end of my nose. Okay, now spit. Dad, that was two weeks ago. We're different people now. This stuff just doesn't get to us like it did back then. Just don't take it too literally, hun. Me? Beware the color blue. <gasps> it's a sign! Beware the color blue. Color blue. Next, Zoralina. Zoralina, what's the forecast, astrologically speaking? We begin with Taurus, the bull. Yes, that's me, Taurus the Terrible. Stormy skies lie ahead for the always honest bull. Today, friends are oversensitive. So, beware, take care, and shut up. Take that, Zoralina! Awesome worm burner, eh? But I think the radio gets a penalty kick. <laughs> Hi, Evan. How do you like my hat? Beware, take care, and shut up. Uh, let's get Sydney, or we'll be late for school. Wake up and smell the roses, Cancer. Love is in the air, and your soulmate is right under your nose. Look for the signs and listen for love calling your name. Sydney! Sydney! Hey, Sid! Let's go! Evan? Evan! Oh, school. Right. Evan. Snap out of it, Sydney. Big volleyball tryouts today. You guys gonna give it a go? I'll give it a go, Evan. And by the way, we're not guys. Silly. Beware the color blue. Beware of blue what? The lockers? It's gotta mean something else. Or someone else. Oh no, it's Reza! <gasps> Sometimes when she sleeps in, her brain forgets to wake up. <laughs> You're funny, Sid. <laughs> Sid may be cute and she may be smart, but funny is... is... And shut up. And shut up. And shut up. Hello, this is Captain Reza. Are you lost in space or... Uh, oops. Maybe she's having a bad hair day? Tape! Anyone! Anyone! What do you think, Evan? Uh, about... Life. Love. Whatever. Do you hear bells? Sid, I'm gonna need my hand back. You know, for, for class. <laughs> Your hand? Oh, I was just checking for warts. Not that you would have warts, but it's my job as part of the, um, toad protection committee thing that I'm doing. Did you three, like, share a bowl of Weirdios for breakfast this morning? <laughs> Jamie, the bell. Uh, just doing an experiment. See how long I can stay in my locker. Uh, you go ahead. 
Mission, avoid Reza. Let the experiments begin. We don't have enough Bunsen burners, so you're going to have to partner up. Your soulmate is right under your nose. Evan, I need you to be my partner. I think I gotta be Sydney's partner like last time. It's part of the same. Please? It can't make any difference, really. Blue, I mean, you don't have to have the same partner. I don't have to stand next to Race and her blue top, do I? Do I? Well, uh, I guess not, sure. Wh whatever. Pull up a test tube. Little Miss Head in her locker nabbed Evan right from under my nose. Oh my gosh! They're a couple! But he's Evan! You must know what's going on. Reza, speak! Today, friends are oversensitive. So, beware, take care, and shut up. And shut up. And shut up. Get laryngitis! This is your way of saying I'm right without actually saying anything. Or maybe you want me to think you know something because you're so close to Evan and you should know, but don't want to admit you don't know. I knew it! Sid, do you think you should be, um... You're probably okay turning it up to 400 degrees, but I think you might wanna... For someone who normally can't shut up, you really have been so not there with good advice today. Normally can't shut up? You know how, like, opinionated you are? Maybe that's why Jamie's avoiding you. So you want me to speak, but you think I should shut up. I'm sorry. It's just... It's all Jamie's fault. <laughs> Gossiping behind my back? Hmm. Only thing you've shown us today. You're just afraid to admit that you and Evan are, you know... Evan? Evan? He's supposed to be in the air for me. Now look what you've done. Me? You're the one dressed head to toe like some really, really blue hip-hop diva. <laughs> no one disses my threads. I won't say exactly what I want to say right now, but let's just say, let the games begin. Excellent effort, girls. Love that competitive fire. Just what the team needs. You're on, all of you. <laughs> they don't want to be my friends, fine. I don't want to be their friend either. So there. I don't really care what you think of me Cause I know I'm real and I know I'm free I don't need you to tell me right from wrong Tell me what, tell me nothing, what's going on I'm sick and tired of playing all these silly games If I got nobody, then nobody's to blame If you tell me how to act and how you want me to be Then I'll say, no way you're gonna hang with me I can make it Not afraid of catching the play? You knew love was in the air, and you just blew it away. At least I didn't spend the day flaunting someone's unlucky color right in someone's face. Unlucky color? Love? You guys have gone completely Bermuda Triangle on me. Okay, I admit it. I read my horoscope this morning. It said blue was my unlucky color. Enter Miss Bluer Than Blue. Hey, my horoscope told me to keep my opinions to myself. Like that's gonna happen. 
My horoscope said you know what was in the air, and then Evan called out from nowhere which seemed like the air at the time. But we obviously can't go cold turkey. <laughs> well, how about we just don't take them so over the top serious? And we share them with each other. I'm not used to keeping things to myself. I'm not used to dodging my best friends. Aww. Aww. We all went a little overboard in believing our horoscopes. But at least my horoscope was right about one thing. Three is my lucky number. Can you believe we made the team? Did you see the look on her face when you beamed me with the ball? So cool that we showed what we're made of. It's not like celebrities come from another planet or anything, but they can sure make you act like a total alien. And the crowd goes wild as Raisa Jackson, star forward, jams her 100th point of the game! 100th? Try six, Action Jackson. What you reading? Eco teen. Oh. <sighs> Nothing ever happens to me. I've been alive for 12 years, three months, and six days, and I haven't even broken a bone. Did you know that 47 million tons of paper is recycled each year? I just want something cool to happen to me, just once. Imagine if we didn't recycle. Think you can break a bone without knowing it? Ah! Ah! Magnet 360, concert, Magnet 360. Oh my gosh, the incredible Magnet 360 concert contest. contest. Your, Your chance to win free tickets, tickets and meet Magnet 360's lead singer, Magnetize, back to the show. show. Those contests are so fixed. I bet you somebody's sister's already got dibs. For contest details? Yeah, yeah, just get to the point. Ah, here. Enter as often as you like. There's only one entry form. We have to go buy a million of these magazines right now! It's Ecoteen. It comes special order from my Help a Tree Internet Club. There's no time to get more. The deadline's today! Don't panic. Think. Think! You two are scaring me. Ever heard of the convenience store photocopier? Huddle up. On three, Jamie inserts the coins in the slot. Sydney passes me the copies. I stack them up. Ready? In three. One, two, three, break! <laughs> Hello, girls. Mother, knocking is, like, required. Hello, Mrs. Brooks. Hello, Mrs. Brooks. You know, I just love that song. What's the lead singer's name? Maggot? Magnetize! Mother, please! This is a life or no life situation here. The contest deadline is tonight at 6 p.m. We need to focus. Oh, I know, I know. I am not ultra cool, like... Maggot. Mother, it's magnetized! Imagine how cool he must be. I mean, in the flesh. Magnetized. magnetized. When I think you're really cool, how would you like to hang with me after school? I gotta have a number. Betty's a 
good kisser. That is so sickeningly gross, Sid. You two need to get a life. Because after the gig, Magnetize and I will be taking the midnight flight to the World Cup Finals in Italy. And the only dancing he's gonna do is in the end zone with me. Magnetize! We must have had the most entry forms of anyone. They did look kind of surprised when we hauled in all those bags. Shh, it's coming up. It's 10 a.m. and we have a winner after this. I hate when they do that. Don't they know we're dying here? If we win, I am so going shopping for a new outfit. I'm so gonna get my hair done. I'm so gonna faint. Have you ever had a really, really strong feeling that you've won already? Jay, you always think you're gonna win anytime we enter anything. I won an encyclopedia once. I won a CD last year. You see? I'm totally due. Shh. You heard me right, folks. We have a winner. Her name is Jamie Brooks. She's 12 years old, and she's won two tickets to see Magnet 360 in concert this Friday night. Congratulations, Jamie! Oh my gosh. I won? I won? I actually won. All those forms. How could we lose? And me! I can't believe they picked... What? Two. two. Two what? Two, Two tickets. tickets. Dad! They're reasonable people. I mean, they invented this contest, so they have to be reasonable. Two tickets, three tickets, what's the diff? Free tickets. You know, once I won a 40 pound turkey. <laughs> I ate turkey nonstop for three weeks. Things got pretty foul. Dad, please. Sick humor and major crisis, bad combo. Jay, you and Reza should go. I have this science project. I could start early. You know, my parents probably won't even let me go. Look, it was Sid's magazine in the first place. And Reza, you haven't even been to a concert. It's all gonna work out. Trust me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Ladies, they're live. Oh, he waved at me. <laughs> you? His eyes were looking right at me. Let me guess. One of you is Jamie Brooks. Me! It's me! Here are your tickets and backstage passes. Now, please try to control yourselves. Awesome! Um, miss, I was just wondering. And you know, it's really no biggie, but, um, could I please, please, please get one more ticket? Oh, and another backstage pass, too? <laughs> Show's been sold out for weeks. Sold out or sold out? Sold out. <laughs> but, you see, we always travel in threes. Not this time. Oh, it's just the worst being stuck in the middle. JJ, honey, your friends will understand. I wouldn't. I'd just say pick already. Take someone else. Then you don't have to choose between them. Hmm? Okay, Mom. Bad advice is not helpful. You could give the tickets to the charity auction I'm organizing. What are you doing here? Jamie asked me to meet her. You? I don't even want to go anymore. You just want me to say the same thing. Then you'll change your mind. I can have my first ever concert experience some other time. This isn't a ticket for a guilt trip. It's a concert. You don't even like concerts. You think they're too loud. I thought your parents wouldn't let you go. I was wrong. So you do want to go. What about your major science project that you just had to get the jump on? Did it already. Arm wrestle you for it. Trivia contest? Ugh, I'm going with my mom. This is so not what I meant when I said I wanted something to happen to me. Not one bit. Jamie, it's for you. 
It's Sydney and Reza. Oh, I can't deal with them being mad at me right now. Just tell them I've died and they don't have to worry about me ever again. <sighs> Jamie will call you back later, okay? Don't sit too close. My personality might be contagious. What's the matter, baby? I was trying to do the right thing by giving the ticket to you so I wouldn't have to choose between my two bestest. And now they hate me. I doubt they hate you over a silly concert. Ha! You're right. Why go at all? It's ruined anyway, along with my entire life. Ugh. Ah! 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 Oh my goodness! Look at the limo! It's way beyond decadent. We were so glad you called, Jamie. Yeah, we knew you were having a major mental disintegration when you left the park, and we totally sympathize. We think it's awesome you're going with your mom. We were just acting like big babies, but now we're here to see you off. I mean, how cool is that, having a daughter-mom bonding experience? I called because I'm giving you guys the tickets and the limo. What? It's the only fair thing to do. I mean... What kind of friend would I be if I picked me over either of you? You, you are, are the, the coolest, coolest best, best friend, friend ever! ever. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't go anyway. But hey, they get the concert of their lives, and I get something even cooler than that. My first broken toe.